Okay, I'm back. Um, we have 33 Russian letters. Um, we have four categories, and I'm just going to start from the letter A, from Alpha, from Us. That's the name of that letter in um, Old Russian. Um, and I'm going to move all the way through to Ya, which is the very final letter of the Russian alphabet. Um, so let's start here. We have the letter A. Um, I assume that you're going to be able to see this with my cursor, um, which should be lit up with this program. Uh, this letter A uh, is pronounced ah, just like it is in um, the, the English word father. Uh, the name of the letter, the Russians, if they're going to call it anything, and they probably wouldn't call it anything, but um, they'll call it the letter ah. That's a vowel, um, and I think that it, it belongs clearly in the just like English category. So I'm going to put that under just like English. The next letter in our list here is the letter B. Um, B as in Bob, it's pronounced. Um, the letter's name is B. Um, that is, if you know your Latin, if you know your Greek letters, that is the Greek letter beta, the second letter of the, sorry, the second letter of the Greek alphabet. Uh, it's also the second letter of the Russian alphabet. Um, interestingly enough, the old Russian name, you know, that, you know, just like Greek has alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, all those names for its letters. Um, Russian, um, up until, let's say, the beginning of the 20th century, Russians very commonly called these letters by names. Um, so, uh, B. They call it now ba, but um, in the 19th century, um, they probably would have called it buki. Uh, that letter me that that word buki means letter in Russian. So um, all of these letters have old Russian names that were used up until about the 20th century. Um, so anyway, um, that's a, that's an aside, neither here nor there. Um, here we have the Greek letter ba beta. You might recognize it from fraternities, sororities, from math class, uh, from chemistry. Uh, but it's a Greek letter. Um, our next letter is the letter v. That's the third letter here. Um, look at that letter. Um, uh oh, we we have a we have a we have a automatically we already have a problem. Um, this letter, which is pronounced v as in vera, looks just like the English letter b. So if you looked at that and didn't know that we were writing in Russian, you might think, oh, it's the letter B. But in fact, it's the letter V. Um, this definitely belongs in the tricksters category. And whenever I um, write one of these tricksters, um, I'm going to do a little arrow like this. And I'm going to put in um, uh, uh, quotation marks the true pronunciation value of that letter. So the letter V in Russian, um, I'm going to write V here. It looks like the letter B in the English alphabet, so we'll put that in the trickster. Here we have um, 